Prabhav Zera from TechX Media. We are at Jaisa Global 2025, and I have with me right now Mr. Ibrahim Al Shimrani. He is CEO of Cogna. So let's welcome Ibrahim, Mr. Ibrahim on TechX Media. Hi, Mr. Ibrahim. How are you? Thank you for having me. It's great to have you here with us again yes. after a couple of years. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So, Mr. Ibrahim, please tell us about Cogna. What it does about the company. So Cogna uh, came uh, a long way uh, into being like an early stage startup until it's become uh, and, and like a more a leader in, in our field. Mm -hmm. So Cogna uh, specialized into solving the pain uh, that people have in the sock and being able to shorten the time of detection and uh, take action onto the threat and eliminate them and respond to them. Uh, this is what we do on Cogna. Uh, we kind of, uh, you know. Uh, from the region here, so we are a company that uh, headquarters in Saudi, and it's a, a global footprint today. Uh, we uh, kind of uh, understand the threat that the region has, and we come up with a uh, wealth of experience into looking at the uh, specific threats group and to the region, and reflecting that on the platform that we build to be able to uh, be more effective into detecting the threat and uh, taking action into it. Today, we leverage the uh, generative AI and the agentic part, where we reduce 80% of the manual work that happening in, inside the, you know, the SOC Chrome, while being able to reduce the overall uh, cost and our customer by 50%, comparing to uh, typical or traditional way uh, of doing uh, detection response. Great. Uh, so what is it that makes Cogna stands out among its other established market players? So that is a very good question. Uh, today, uh, we kind of see our customers that are suffering with uh, actually having uh, the, uh, the context of their environment and knowing what exists and who's the user and what is the uh, software that deployed onto them and, and more about the context itself. We have taken that and uh, put it like the uh, underneath layer for uh, looking at the threat. So uh, the threat for organization X is going to be different from uh, organization Y. And uh, wh what does that mean is that that context layer will look at the data and then it will be able to uh, do the triage for the alert. And then it's come up with the recommendation uh, tailored for that customer based on his environment to be able to tell him how he take action to those. You utilizing the, the, the agentic part of that. Uh, we structured the platform today in a way that uh, there is a separate agent doing separate function. So they are like, uh, you know, very expert employees uh, doing those jobs. And also they are talking to a master who's talking to the end user and being able to help them to do that, uh, you know, uh, 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 big job into protecting his organization. Uh, so going back to your question, what set us unique? First is that we have better understanding for the threat in the region. And we have that uh, layer of uh, context for the customer. Uh, uh, and understanding actually what's happening inside the environment. And also there is that uh, automation for, as I mentioned, to 80, 90% of the work manually that's being done, while being able to uh, re uh, make that an return investment for the customer by reducing the, the cost on them. So this is uh, some of the points that set us aside from the competitors. Perfect. Uh, since we are at JICIC Global 2025, tell us what will be your key takeaways from the event this time? So I think it's, uh, we take a look at uh, JITX as the uh, one of the uh, events that we come together as, uh, you know, uh, customers and as uh, vendors. And we uh, like uh, talk to each other and learn about, you know, how we understand each other better. Uh, what is the changing in the threat? What is the changing in the technology? What is the change in the customer demand? And what is the most important for uh, uh, things for them? And uh, what I see, uh, you know, JISOC uh, is like, it's becoming bigger and bigger after years. And we are seeing uh, not just att attracting, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, both uh, vendors or uh, customers from the region, it's going beyond that. Uh, and I think it's uh, uh, one of the elite events that we see that, uh, you know, uh, we are coming as, as people trying to think about how we secure our uh, daily uh, life and how we better secure the humanity from uh, you know being introduced to, to the uh, like the technology itself because by using the technology we are accepting the risk of it and we are coming to all of us here saying let's make sure that we leverage that while make sure that it's doing the job and securing it great uh, thank you so much for being here with us it was great talk thank you we appreciate it thank you for watching stay tuned to take to know more about what is happening at jaisic global 2025 goodbye